Thank you, Steve. Introductions being made for Jackson Jr. and Dmitry Bivol. Bivol now making his way to the ring. 24-year-old Russian. He's only had four fights. This is at light heavyweight. And already comparisons are being made with some of the big names of Eastern Europe. The new Kovalev, they've even suggested. Well, that's a big call. We will see. It's a huge call. You don't put any more pressure on the kid that he already has, I guess, but he's obviously good four fights, four knockouts, and, and not all early as well. That's a good thing. So it shows that he carries that power into the later rounds. Third fight, he had a point win over Joey Vegas, and last time out beat Felipe Romero. Knocked him out in six on his US debut. Good amateur. Twice the World Cadets Champion, World Combat Games Champion as well. Beats uh, one of ours, Jake Ball, in the final there. Joey Vegas, he stopped, I beg your pardon, in four rounds. For the WBA Vacant International Light Heavyweight Championship. Supervisor, Marina Mariana Parisova, Bulgaria. Three judges at ringside scoring this contest. From Venezuela, Rafael Carabano. From Panama, Octavio Rodriguez. And from the United States of America, Steve Smoker. Vashtudia Hrnevitis, your timekeeper, Mikhail Kulikov, Russia. Isudaram Gonga, Vash Referee Bringi. And well, the bell rings, your referee in charge. From Thailand, Pini Prayatsa. Представляю вам соперника, ветеран бойца в синем углу. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Ему 29 лет, рост 180 сантиметров, вес 78,6 килограмма. 29 years old, he stands 180 centimeters tall, official weight 78,6 килограммов. Его профессиональный рекорд 24 боя, 19 побед, включая 17 побед нокаутом, 4 поражения, 1 бой признан несостоявшимся. Дамы и господа, чемпион Бразилии, ladies and gentlemen, he is Brazilian light heavyweight national champion from São Paulo. Please welcome Jackson Demolitor Junior. Nice. И его соперник красного блока. Fighting out of the red corner. Бойцу 24 года. Рост 183 сантиметра. Вес 78 и 85 сотых килограмма. 24 years old. He stands 183 сантиметров. Official weight 78.85 килограммов. Его профессиональный рекорд 4 боя. 4 победы. Все победы одержаны нокаутом. Дамы и господа. Чемпион WBC Соединенных Штатов Америки в полутяжелом весе. Ladies and gentlemen, he is WBC USNBC Silver Light Heavyweight Champion. Встречайте, from Russia, Pity Pivo. Well, always interesting to see a new young talent here, Barry. And you can see that the Brazilian is the taller guy here, standing round about six foot. Okay, good luck. Jackson Jr., 29 years old. Lost to Igor Menkensev last time out. If Bivol wins this, though, well, maybe we can start to get a bit more excited about him than we already are. But what he has to do with Jackson, obviously, that's a lovely jab there from Bivol. He's not give Jackson any confidence. I think you got to go like he's doing now. Solid jab for Jackson in his place, because obviously he can punch. Don't want to let a puncher coming forward with confidence is the worst thing. That's a lovely jab again. Actually had to go past eight rounds so far. This one scheduled for 12. Jackson for uh, missing out there. He's boxing tremendously well, Bivol right now. Beautiful. Just leaning back as well, letting Jackson fall short. Good concentration again, fast hands. 
can see what they're all raving about him, can you? He's been really good. Hard night here for, for Junior. Yep. He's eating too many of these jabs, and we're only in the first round. And I know it's still early days, but the, the concentration levels of Bivol as well. Just when Jackson, you know, Jackson trying to walk him down. That's I think that's his tactic to keep the hands high, trying to walk him down. But every time he, he, he even twitches to throw a punch, Bivol just takes a little half a step back. Anything that's thrown then from Jackson Junior falls short. And the jab as well, just making Junior reset every time. Yeah. Fairly one-sided opening round here. And the jab is just excellent. making this Brazilian look very ordinary indeed. Very good first round for Dimitri Bivol. Really impressive there, really impressive. Just busting him up with that jab, keeping, keeping Junior off balance with that solid jab, and then every time Jackson Junior tried to throw a punch, he just took a little half step back there, Bivol, come back with nice, hard, fast combinations and kept his patience as well, didn't rush his work. Everything was good, you couldn't complain. If you, know, you were in his corner and he came back, you'd be, you'd be just praising him how well he boxed, focus, everything about it was really good. I don't think he took a shot at no, did he? Not at all. And he didn't rush anything, didn't? You know, he, you see how, how easy, easy he's breathing is now in the corner because he didn't try and over impress. Kept a nice steady pace and still got good, some good work in. Well, he's emphatically taken the first three minute period to move into round two of this 12 rounder. Continuing where he left off, Barry. His right hand he brought up there inside the guard. Oh, look, that was good as well there. Jackson thought he was, at last he got close to throw a left hook. Double count with the right hand. Inside the distance. You can see why as well, can you? Because it's typical of the of a of Russian of Russian fighters that they're so accurate. The horse, so every shot is punched through the target. So even if they're not knocking you out, every shot's hurting. And, and you can see you can see why some of the stoppages are late because you can imagine. He's punched the fight out of the opponents. Broken their hearts. Jackson Jr. needs to get that double jab. He's got to, he's got to throw the jab first. Well, he knows Bill was going to throw back, but then double the jab. So once he hits the, the tiger with the second left hand, then he can let that right hand go. Not doing a lot more than just cover up, is he? Just waiting for some sort of opportunity, which at the moment isn't coming. Because he can't get close to it, he, he can that, that high guard type defense that he's trying to use, but Bivol's just punching through it, so it's not working for him. 
to try and walk forward to close the gap to land this shot, so he needs to, to, to come behind the punches, which means he needs to double up that left jab. He's getting through with an awful lot of these left-hand leads, is Bivol, and that's hurt him. Big left hand. And he looks a little bit unsteady, Junior. He's trying to fire back. The left hook to the head made him look ominously wobbly. And again, it came because Jackson tried to throw a right hand. Oh, it's down. Right hand put him away. Got another one on the way down. And this is looking like it's going to be another quick stoppage. Has he recovered? Okay. Okay, come on. He says he's okay. He doesn't look too good to me. Wow. What to talk about? Talk about the right time for a bell to go. Just as he was being measured for a huge right hand. I, I think he's punched the fight out of him already. It, it, it was a great combination. Again, Jackson trying to throw, not being able to land with anything. There was no, not giving it, not, Bivol not giving him anything to, to aim for. In the end, you you resort to trying to throw from from distance, trying to pot shot. And he tried to throw that right hand, or clip the left hook, and then a right hand as well. I think from Bivol. <laughs> I think he took by the first right hand and the second one straight through the guard. Sorry, Barry. He took a bit of a yeah. He took a bit of a hiding again. Again, it's all that just that punching through the targets, right through solid shots, and trying to beat you up. Well, I think uh, Mr. Jackson Jr. from Sao Paulo will do very well to get through the next round. <laughs> Into the third, 12 rounder, but that's looking like an academic statistic. So, you know, if you, come, if you come into the ring with loads of ambition, then you know, to actually genuinely win the fight, which is hard to tell because I think he's just been just Bivol's just too good and clever for him. You would tend to say, you know, you're up against it now, you might just want to go for it. But when you've had no success at all, you'd, you'd just be a fool, wouldn't you, just to go for it now and just be swinging punches because you know you're going to be punching air and getting hurt. Nothing coming back from Jackson now. I took the toll if I was in corner. He's just getting a hammering here. Big body shots he had to absorb. Good straight right hand there, right on the centre from Bivol. That's good. I've seen, seen Fugel's punch there, just touching the target. Trying to encourage Jackson to let his hands go to open that defence. Jackson trying to mount with attack, though, but he's, he's throwing like a guy who's done eight wrongs rather than two. Yeah. There's a lot of snap in his shots from word go, was there? But certainly not too much now. That was better from Pivot then, just then. Just took a little step in, step out, and then came back with the attack. A little bit more variety. He needs to tag at the body. Jackson Jr. doesn't really want to play now, does he? <laughs> Better. Yeah. But almost punished for it with a left hand. Without really going for broke, it's been, again, it's been a good work as well from Bivol. You know, he hasn't got too excited and you know, run out of steam by just trying to really get rid of the guy, though he might have, might have got rid of him if he would have put his foot on the pedal, but he's kept a good, solid pace. A little bit more success in the last few seconds of the round. The Brazilian, a couple of right-handers, uppercuts, finding the target. For another Bivol round. You can't really fault Jackson Jr. there because he you know, tried to have a go, didn't he? At the stages of that round. Mm -hmm. 
тебе говорю, не надо спешить, не надо по локтям хуяри бить. Yeah, so a lot of punches in that round, though, these people. I wonder if you wouldn't think so, but I wonder whether they just might be feeling the pace in the next round. I'd be surprised, but it didn't have the... It's one of the three very, very clearly so far. They would tell Jackson Jr. in the corner now. I thought he was about to be taken out after that yeah, second round. Well, bearing that in mind, did pretty well to get through the third, actually landing a few solid blows of his own in the closing seconds. Just trying to make Junior make a mistake and he make a move, just pumping him with that jab again like he did in the first round. Hoping Jackson Jr. is going to try to mount an attack and then he's open for the conquers. Left eye as well of Jackson Jr. starting to close a little bit. A bit of swelling on top of the eye. A little bit of bruising on the left eye of Bivol as well. He's got those high cheekbones, hasn't he? Yes. Just me, facially, does he look a bit like yeah. Ronnie Heffern? He does, yeah, he looks really, really does look like Ronnie Heffern. <laughs> Patient work from Bivol, content to work behind that jab. Wait for Jackson to commit himself. Oh, there he was. That was the opening he was waiting for. Hit him with a really sweet counter. Six, seven, eight, okay, nine, ten. And that concludes the entertainment. Terrific right hand. Cool. Just great timing, isn't it? It's great timing. Everything in the concentration levels well, just made, with, with Jackson threw his shot a little bit wide. It was right on the centre of the tag, a good technique, good accuracy, everything. Too soon to say just how good he is, but uh, at this level, he looks quite impressive. Uh, you, for his fifth fight, I think he, he's tremendously impressive. His fifth fight boxing, the guy who's had, who's had over 20 fights, and, and even though he's been beat four times, only four times, to be honest, he's had 17 of his fights have been by knockout, so he can obviously bang. But Bivol went and did the right thing, used that solid jab just to keep a punch it off balance. And, and you know, the accuracy, the, 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 the variety in his work at times was pretty good, and also the work rate was, and, wasn't bad. And a great right hand that he finally put him away with that one. It was what he'd been waiting for, waiting for Jackson Jr. to mount some sort of attack. It presented the opening, and that gave the opportunity of an end, and he wanted no more. The reason why he landed before Jackson is about punching it inside your body frame, turning from the waist, turning from the core, moving your shoulders. Where Jackson sort of leaned, after he got lift his elbow up, so the punch goes wide. Where Bivol just punches from the shoulders, turns from the waist, and the shot is directly to the target. So he hits the target first and with more impact. Well, five out of five. Still relatively low key, his progress in Russia. <laughs> As you can see behind him, not too many people in the auditorium as yet, but his popularity is going to grow with victories like this. I think so. I, I, I think, you know, maybe comparing him to a Kovalev is, is maybe a little bit premature, premature yeah. maybe, you know, or even a Baturbiev as well, who I think hit, they both hit or seem to hit a lot harder than, than Bivol, but he, he looks like a strong puncher, like I said, like a Provodnikov type puncher, where he, he busts you up with the punches rather than knock you out. It'd be interesting to see where he goes. That was an impressive performance.
for any guy, but for the guy who in his fifth fight, extremely impressive. I think Jackson Jr. had given him a character reference, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, we're going to get uh, confirmation of the result in just uh, a moment or two. The referee drawing the two men together. Here we are. Одержав победу нокаута и стал новым интернациональным чемпионом WBA в полутяжелом весе. And your parent by knockout and new international WBA light heavyweight champion, Vitry Bifal, Санкт-Петербург, Россия. Who knows, a year or two from now, we might be looking back at this undercard fight and saying, yeah, we knew then he got potential. He put Jackson Jr. away pretty impressively.